This is Florida Football, the program presented by Tower Hill Insurance. Hello again, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Mick Hubert, welcoming you to Florida Football, the program presented by Tower Hill Insurance. The season started with high expectations, and it was the earliest kickoff in Florida football history. Beginning with that August 24th victory over Miami, the Gators would put together a second straight season with at least 10 wins. The regular season finished with another victory over Florida State. In between those wins over their in-state rivals, there were plenty of trials, tribulations, and injuries. But they kept grinding and straining. The Gator standard sent shivers down our backs and put smiles on our faces. This is what we work for. We work for these opportunities right here. Embrace it. Love it. Love everything about it. You get 60 minutes of game time. Go as hard as you possibly can. The Gators with a first down at their own 34-yard line. Here's a pass to Tony at the 35. Tony to the 40. He's the 45. It is second and goal from the eight-yard line. The ball between the hash marks. Trask under center. Trask got an option. He's going to try and run the ball. Now pitches it back to P-Ride. P-Ride makes the grab and goes to the end. Touchdown. Oh, my. He's no option quarterback, but you can't run the option better than that. Smith drops back, looks to throw, and gets it off and fires the ball down the field. It's intercepted. Sean Davis has his second pick of the game. I tell you, God. And they give it to Hammond on a jet sweep to the right to the 30-yard line. to live up to the Gator standard. Play with relentless effort every single day in everything that we do. Every snap, we play to our standard out there on the field tonight. Snap to Trask. Trask on a play action, looking to throw. Fires the ball down the field. He's got pitched with a catch. And he's in. Touchdown. Oh, my. 19 yards. Touchdown pass. Garantano dropping back. Looking. 13 throws to the end zone. The ball is broken up. And it's going to be intercepted. It was intercepted. Here's play action as Kraft looks to throw. Down in the open end zone. He got a receiver. Touchdown! Freddie Trey! Oh, my beautiful aerial strike! And Kraft just put a feather on that ball. The Gators trying to add to their lead. Here's a handoff to Pierce. Pierce running straight ahead. Pierce going to break a tackle. He's going to go in. Second and nine. There's the snap to Trask. Trask looks to throw. He's got the receiver. There's Swain at the 40. Cuts between the hash marks inside the 30. Inside the 20. He's going to go. He's going to go. Touchdown. That was a thing of beauty. Throws the ball down the left side. It's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Sean Davis. Oh, my. There's a snap to Trask. Trask standing back. Looking. Throws the ball to the field. Got Hammond. Hammond turns up field. He's got a touchdown. Oh, my. Cool. Snap the draft, run at the P Ryan, off to the right side, breaks a tackle at the 15, at the 20, at the 25, at the near sideline, the 30, down on the sideline, into the 50, he's into the clear, he runs to the 40, 30, 20, 15, dead ball, touchdown! Touchdown! 88 yards! Oh my! There's a snap to Nix, Nix looking to throw the ball, fires it down the field, it's gonna be intercepted! Marco Wilson's got the pick! Ball game!
Trask dropping back, looking to throw the ball. Down left side, got a receiver to catch made by Copeland. He breaks a tackle. He takes it in. Touchdown. Pierce 35, Pierce 40. Pierce at the 50, down the sideline to 40. There goes Damian Pierce at the 30, the 25, the 20, 50, 10, 5. Touchdown. Touchdown. Oh, my. 75-yard touchdown run by Damian Pierce. There go, baby. I don't know. Alinsky with the ball, and he's hit. The ball is out, and the game. In some trouble, steps out, rolls right, throws the ball down to the end zone. A catch made! That's a catch made for Van Jefferson. That's going to be a touchdown. Oh my! Here's Trash to throw, swings it to the right. A catch for Swain. The ball is at the one yard line. It is fourth and goal. Trask now options it, tosses it out to Pirine. He makes an option catch and turns right and goes into the end zone for a touchdown. Magic by Kyle Trask. Yes, sir. Deuce Wallace at quarterback takes the snap. Wallace looking, looking, rolls off to his right, and down he goes. He got run down and sacked by Adam Schuler. Third down and 12. Snap to Deuce Wallace. Wallace looking to throw the ball, and it's going to be intercepted. Picked off by the Gators, Donovan Steiner. The snap to Trask. He swings the pass to the left to Grimes. At the 40, Grimes 50, Grimes 40, breaks the tackle, and down the sideline, he's going to go all the way. 66 yards! Touchdown, Gators! Oh, my! Wallace under pressure. He's hit. The ball comes out. It's picked up by the Gators. That's a loose ball. Going to be returned by John Bernard. He's going to go all the way into the end zone. It's going to be a beautiful Gator defensive score. How oh my. He'll remember that for the rest of his life. Gators first and 10. There's the snap to Trask on a play action. Dropping the throw. Fires the ball down toward the left side. It's caught. It's a touchdown. Yes, have a beautiful catch in the left side of the end zone. First and 10, Florida at the Florida State 19-yard line. And that play fake Trask throws underneath the Swain. Swain 15, Swain 10, Swain 5. Akers in the running back. And here's Travis to throw, and he's hit, and the ball is out. Blackman dropping back, flushed out of the pocket, grabbed and thrown down. He's sacked. Back in the 32-yard line, James Houston. That's it. The Florida Gators have another 10-win season. We'll hear from one of the Gators' top defensive players when we return right after this. I grew up a Florida Gator fan since I was a child. The brotherhood that we have is huge. I mean, it's nothing like it. So uh, the tradition that we keep here, you know, hopefully you know, we set the uh, pace for it for the guys next year. It's hard not to love Jonathan Grenard. Florida football, the program presented by Tower Hill Insurance is brought to you by Gatorland in Orlando, the alligator capital of the world, UF Health, official health care provider of the Florida Gators, and by Tower Hill Insurance, a leading property insurer in the southeast. This is Florida football, the program presented by Tower Hill Insurance. The Gators finished the regular season 12th in the nation in total defense and 7th in scoring defense. They led the SEC with 46 sacks. John Grenard led the league with 9 sacks and was named first team all SEC. So let's, uh, let's come back to uh, why you came to this university. A lot of decisions. I'm sure everybody in the country wanted to, uh, to have your services. What was so special about this place? Uh, like I said, I grew up a Florida Gator fan since I was a child. I mean, pretty much the only thing I knew, obviously, I knew about the, the rivals. I got hate for back home being a, uh, from Georgia and being a Florida Gator fan. But, you know, uh, definitely um, I want, always wanted to play. I had a dream of playing here. I uh, just basically worked out to where uh, my old defensive coordinator who recruited me, Coach Grantham, was here. So um, it worked out that way. I could come right in, learn the defense pretty quickly and uh, just basically a refresh old memory. And Gator Nation figured out who you are pretty quick. That, let's go back to that Miami game. You guys have 10 sacks. You're all over the place just yeah. destroying the quarterback. But I, I think the, the neatest part for me was getting to talk to you after the game, and you just you, you had a love for your teammates, and it was just such a short amount of time, but just to, to have that camaraderie with those guys that early was pretty special. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, anytime you get a chance to play at this university, you know, guys who are uh, top-notch guys, I mean, project the first round, you know, everything you hear, the accolades that they have, I mean, it's, it's a fun time, and when you get to play on the same field as them, you know, they're on the same same page as you, uh, it makes it that much more fun, and pl uh, plus that was the first game, you know, obviously an in-state rivalry, uh, just so that way we can own the state you know that just made it that much more fun to play and you said fun a couple of times yeah. there because that's what it is 
this time and this university, it, it, had, it seemed like a really fun year. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was it was really fun. I mean, obviously, when, when you have the coaches that make the things fun for you, you know, the fans, you know, environment, everything, it just adds into it. And, you know, guys who all have the same mission to, to be better than they were last year, and obviously me coming off of injury, um, just adding that much more to it made us play that much harder for that game. So there's a, a ton of dudes that play defense right. in this country, and there was one week this year you were the best defensive player in the entire country. Right. Great game against Missouri. It's cold. There's, like, snow yeah. everywhere. But, <laughs> I mean, that, you, you were all over the place that day. Like, did you, did you have your Wheaties that morning or what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I felt good. I mean, but when we woke up that morning, you know, uh, me playing in Louisville, I mean, a lot of people don't know I me. Mean, Louisville gets pretty cold. Yeah. I mean, the snow is, is – it, it snows in the springtime. So um, just taking that from up there and then going to Missouri, which kind of wasn't that cold. Um, it was colder for some of me, obviously. Florida players never experienced in the winter here. Uh, for, the, to, to, for them to have that, it was definitely different. But overall, felt good. You know, the ankle felt healthy. Uh, the team, we were on a different mindset, and obviously following uh, the loss of Georgia uh, and stuff like that. So uh, just going into understanding what happened last year as well Missouri. You know, we took that on our shoulder, went in their house, and uh, got, got things done. You get to show off the wheels this right, year, too. Yeah. You pick up a fumble, you go all the way. That was your first <laughs> touchdown ever, wasn't it? Right, right. I mean, it, I, have, I had the ball in my hand a couple of times before. I always got caught. Um, but this time, I said I wasn't going to get caught. And once I look back, I, I can easily jog on there. So, didn't have to <laughs> run too fast for it. No, you certainly didn't. And you still got uh, a couple of things to go. You get right. the honor of playing in the Senior Bowl. Of right. course, uh, a big bowl game. You know, what, what are those two things going to mean to you? Uh, it's huge. I mean, I always watch the Senior Bowl coming up. I always knowing about it. You know, just getting a chance to play there. I mean, it's definitely a huge honor as well. Uh, playing in New Year's Six Bowl. I mean, down in Miami. First time being in Miami for me. So, um, it's, everything's going to be fun. I, mean, I just can't wait, you know, get, go out there with my brothers again. And uh, also, they can uh, enjoy the time on it just like I will so um, I'm excited so you get to uh, to finish up in the orange and blue what what is this year meant to you to, to be around this this place Gator Nation all that man it's crazy I mean things I've been through my life and to get here as well it's just um, it's a bittersweet moment I mean I'm just excited and blessed that I can still play this game again number one at, at the highest level um, and also to play with my brothers from the stand what they they want to come into the season we gel together you know the, the camaraderie the bond that we have this brotherhood that we have is huge I mean it's nothing like it so uh, the tradition that we keep here you know hopefully we set the uh, pace for it for the guys next year. They're going to take it and they're going to run with it. So I'm excited to see what the future brings. Well, I know Gator Nation wishes they, uh, they saw you for more than one year, right. but it was a heck of a year, man. Congratulations. Yes, I appreciate it. Thank you. We'll hear from one player who played a pivotal position in helping to save the season. Coming up in just a moment. Coach Mullen and staff does a great job of preparing us and, you know, getting us ready for any moment, any opportunity we have to get on that field. Trask going to run up the middle field. Florida Football, the program presented by Tower Hill Insurance is brought to you by UF Health, official health care provider of the Florida Gators, and by Tower Hill Insurance, a leading property insurer in the Southeast. This is Florida Football, the program presented by Tower Hill Insurance. He came off the bench and was forced into action. He rallied the Gators to victory at Kentucky on that September 9th. Kyle Trask set a school record with 18 straight pass completions. He threw 24 touchdown passes and finished the regular season with the third best passer rating in the SEC. So let's go back, uh, middle of September, just a normal day. You're up in Lexington, you're kind of hanging out for a couple of quarters, and then all of a sudden Felipe goes down. Like, what's that, that first thought that, that came into your mind, knowing that this was uh, going to be an opportunity? Yeah, it was a very emotional experience for our team. Obviously, you know, you hear a pin drop on the sideline when he went down because, you know, Felipe is such a great leader for our team. Obviously, the morale was kind of low at the moment um, when Felipe got hurt, but I just did my best to try to get everybody back up. And, you know, you know, obviously it's very emotional that Felipe went down, but there's still a game to be won. And then you guys, uh, you, you put up 222 yards, I think, in that fourth quarter. So all that time, all the preparation that you've been here for, for several years working, you know, obviously all came together. And, and you were ready for that moment, weren't you? Yeah, I mean, I think Coach Mullen and staff does a great job of preparing us and, you know, getting us ready for any moment, any opportunity we have to get on that field. You've uh, had so many great moments this year, but I, I go back to that game and, it might be my most favorite moment that you had was that pitch to Piran to, to kind of get things going, get back in a little bit, just knowing that he was there. Yeah, so it was just an option play to the left, and the defender was going outside of me, so I tried to knife through it, and then he kind of gra grabbed me, and once he had a hold of me, I knew he was still over there. Once I found him, I just there was nobody on him, and he just walked right in. And, and you ran one in after that, too, so you yeah. show, showed off the wheels yourself a little bit. Yeah. 
So you're I sneaky little, fast, right? Dual threat action. That's, that's right. That's what it is. And for you to be able to, to stand there at the line and get ready to clap your hands, and then you see it's like, yes, yeah, Jefferson and Grimes and you know all these just dudes stacked. left and right. It's yeah. pretty sweet, isn't it? It's yeah. We're we're stacked at the receiver group, and you know we have a lot of great leaders in the receiver room too, and. You know, I couldn't be more proud of how they've just like came to work every single day and it's really showed on the field. You know, we, we hear a lot about Coach Mullen and what he does, and I know you guys have had discussions when, when he come off the field, but what, what does Brian Johnson mean to you? Obviously a guy but behind the scenes, but he, you probably owe him a lot. Yeah, uh, Coach Johnson's, um, you know, I guess in the media, he doesn't get a lot of attention when it comes to one of the offensive minds of the team, but he really plays a huge role in this team and in the quarterback room. And, you know, I owe him everything because he's one of the best coaches that in my life that I've had because he's just so relatable. And, you know, he's been through it. He's played in big games in college. So, you know, I just feel like he's a coach that you can ask him anything. And, you know, cause like I said, he's been through before and he'll let you know what to do. And you may not know this, but there's some guy named Warfel, some guy named Grossman, and some guy named Trask, you, that uh, threw for 300 yards against Florida State in the last, like, 23 years. So to end the, the regular season like that, beat that rival, and how, how fun was that game? Uh, that was really fun. You know, our team did a great job of preparing through the week, and we treated it just like any other week, no matter what who the opponent is. And it really showed on Saturday. We really just executed the game plan really well. And you say dual threat, but I, you're like triple threat. Remember the, the catch against Auburn? What about that? Oh, yeah. Some, some great hands <laughs> that's out there. True, that's true. Uh, what, what was that atmosphere like? And, you know, kind of just being the starter, that noise, that, that environment, that energy. Uh, it was pretty wild, you know. But once you get in the game, you know, it's kind of just like any other game. Once you take that first snap, you know, all the nerves kind of just disappear and you're just back to, you know, what you grew up doing. But that game was wild. Our fans had that place rocking, and, you know, it definitely had a big impact on the game because, you know, every time our defense was on the field, like, I couldn't even hear people on the headset. It was so loud. It was crazy. Now to get to play in a New Year's Six game and finish off the season, that's got to be pretty special, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it's really special, and I think it's a, a great opportunity for our seniors to go out with a big Orange Bowl win because they've worked so hard you know, ever since we got here in 2016, and they've just done a great job the whole time. For sure. Kyle, thanks, man. A lot of success, and I uh, wish you the, the best of luck against Virginia. Appreciate it. To say the Gators are building for the long haul only tells part of the story as we see right after this. Don't go through the motion. Let's get it. Up oh, and through. You missed me? I actually came over here to talk to you because you thought I wasn't going to come hang out with you today. Tower Hill Insurance has been protecting Florida's homes and businesses since 1972. To protect your castle, look to the tower. To learn more about Tower Hill Insurance, visit THIG.com. Florida Football, the program presented by Tower Hill Insurance is brought to you by Gatorland in Orlando, the alligator capital of the world, UF Health, official health care provider of the Florida Gators, and by Tower Hill Insurance, a leading property insurer in the Southeast. The Gators have a grand new football building on the horizon. They have 20 wins in their first 25 games under head coach Dan Mullen and a second straight New Year Six Bowl game invitation. Florida faces Virginia in the Capital One Orange Bowl game at 8 p.m. on Monday night, December 30th at Hard Rock Stadium. You look at that of guys living up to what the Gator standard is and what the expectations are and buying into every aspect of the program. Guys graduating, I mean, guys graduating with the master's degrees, uh, guys coming out playing at a high level, no matter what the adversity or, uh, you know, or the successes that we were dealing with, they continued to battle, continue to improve, continue to get better. Um, and we were able to, you know, the reap the rewards of that as a, as a football program getting to our second straight New Year's Six Bowl game. It is a great Monday practice. Transition into game week, game mode. Let's get ready for 
the right way, get ourselves a big time win in this Orange Bowl game. But practice is about getting it right the first time. If you get it right the first time, it's, it's hard to mess it up. I'm going to look at that WT this today. I'm going to do it. Might not want to. Don't have to. Hey, when, you, when one of these plays schemes up, does it all not feel worth it? And then I get one of the, whatever that, whatever type of celebration that is. Don't go through the motions. Let's get it. Oh, and through. Near leg, near shoulder, up and through. Wrap and squeeze, grab claw. Run my feet. There you go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Pace him, pace him, up and through. Gain ground on that first step, right there, up and through. Gain ground, there you go. Gain ground that first step. I'm gonna put it, I'm getting my hip past this hip. Everybody understand that? That's all we're trying to do is replace him and then get vertical. Uh, Mahmoud had a good one yesterday. You gotta get flat. Everybody ready? Let's go. Ready, go. Get over top, get over top. Dip, rip, get vertical. There you go. Remember why we're doing this. Everybody remember why we're doing this. I'm not going to just touch him with one hand. All I need to do is get that hip, knock him off right there. Set, go. Through it, bang. Strike him, expand, finish. Find it. Redirect. I want to hit him. And as I see that quarterback look back, I'm going to go get that pick just like you did last week, okay? <laughs> uh-huh. That's one right now. That's one. Hit him. There you go, James. Good job. Good job. Hey, do that every time. Good job. We invite you to join us on the Gators Football Network for all the exciting play-by-play -play and analysis from the Capital One Orange Bowl. We'll be on the air with our pregame show starting at 5 p.m. on December 30th. Yes, it's been another exciting season around here, and the best is yet to come for Florida football, the program. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mick Hubert. So long, everybody. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports, Learfield IMG College, and Gator Vision.